Hey, what's up, my fellow YouTubers? PC Gamer Dude here, and Amelia here. <laughs> it's it staring at me, but anyway. So today we're going to talk about why is Google black? Like, how do you do it? Well, I can tell you, it'll probably look as black as it would in night mode or dark mode or whatever you call it. So I'm going to um, show you how this thing works. That I got, like, how is the little uh, wallpaper here look, look like? Like, how's the watermark? Well, the watermark's not black, but you could tell everything here is black that I'm looking at now. So, we're going to talk about how that works. We're going to talk about, like, and you already know the title of this thing because you read it as you should say, why is this thumbnail black? Well, I could tell you how. So, before we actually do all that, make sure that you all subscribe to this channel, like this video, and finally, check out my social media. I'll provide my links down below. So, anyway, without any further ado, let's begin. Alright, so for those curious people out there that wonder how did I get this uh, Google wallpaper here black, and it only works on Google Chrome, okay? So, in other words, that is still regular. No black involved. However, I got the same because from the folks of Dark Reader. Dark Reader is a Chrome extension that will help transform any website darker. Because, well, it says, well, dark, dark. So, anyway, so how this works is like you can, um, you can make it to where it only works on one slide, one site. Uh, you can press this toggle and then, you know, you can toggle between, like, if you want to use, um, I mean, there's just lots of cool stuff. I'm not going to take you through most of it. Alright, so, first off, when you turn it off, it goes back to regular. If you turn it on, boom, it turns black. You can have a, uh, two different modes, alright, dark and light dark light which one do you think is better dark or light me I think light um, dark works because if you have on light you can't even see anything like uh, yeah, like, you can mess around with the I'm feeling lucky thing mess around with it then I'll just go back to a white bar so that's why dark works for me so then obviously you could turn down the brightness uh, like have a total pitch black. Like, um, the thing here is, the brightness only affects, like, the buttons. Like, if you want the buttons to go completely away, like, the outline is completely away, turn the brightness down to all the way down. If you want to see the buttons, like, the outlines of the buttons, so that you know, um, the outline, of course, then that's why brightness exists. Alright, for the contrast, if you turn this contrast down, it will turn into a around a beige color. If you have it completely down, for example. And I'm going to show you this on many other websites that I got, so. Anyway, um, contrast, so, and if we turn it all the way up, it will go back black. If we turn it to the middle, you'll see a little bit brown. But here is beige, and then... You, know, you could just mess around with the contrast until you are perfect. Mine is at plus 50. Same thing for brightness, plus 50. All right. Now let's talk about the sepia effect. I think that's how you say sepia. Basically, if you have this, then that will probably mean the uh, sepia. I think it, if you increase the sepia, that means like it will become more bright or something like that. But it don't clearly take in shape in this website, so Sepia is not really a good choice uh, for this particular website. Grayscale, however, it will. nothing happens. So, uh, this is not exactly the best website for Sepia and Grayscale, but if you want to mess around with brightness and contrast, perfectly fine. Right. Now let's go to another website, and if you want to um, put down a website first off, you could have it to work it like this, 
like where you can label your websites together. Um, let's try on YouTube. Let's see what happens if we do that. And this video is brought to you by Tap for a cost, just for those wondering. Um, I'll provide a link in the description where you can get the extension and the Tap for a cost. Maybe for the Tap for the cost, but definitely for the Dark Reader. Who knows? So, anyway, we are in. This is what happens when you have a dark mode. And this is what happens when you have Dark Reader with it. Boom. Wool looks better. More gray or more black? Yeah, you want to be back in black, people. So, anyway, um, let's see how the Cepheo works on this thing. And, uh, no, it doesn't. Does the grayscale work? And again, no, it's not. Unless if you're for the fact that you are, I don't know, doing something with the, like if you want this to change a little bit, lower your grayscale to make it more, you know, blue. I thought that's what it looked like for a second, blue. I thought it um, changed to like blue bit for a second. Oh, there it goes. But yeah, if you just lower the Cynthia the grayscale, something like that. I'll remember how it's like, but for some reason it wanna change to like a navy blue instead of a, you know, a gray color, but YouTube clearly doesn't work with this part. However, you know, just got all these up just the wrong ones. Um, how much people are subscribed to? Right. Including that weird thing. Wants to go. It sucks. It's not good. So, anyway, um, now let's take a look at what happens if you go to Wikipedia. I mean, lots and lots of people go to Wikipedia every day. They edit other people's articles without permission. They don't care. All right. So, we can just go ahead and go to the title page itself, and let's see what you do. All right. So, if we mess around with the set beyond the title page. It won't really do anything, really, except change the like, like the tone of the brown color here. So, like, for example, if you have a lower, it would change to a more gray. Right? If you raise the sepia, it turns more brown. Right? It turns like a more lighter version of brown. If you just raise sepia, it looks like this. But if you just, you know, increase it. It will come out to a more brown color. So, that's what those people out there that just wonder about. And I'm not sure a grayscale really takes effect here. Um, yeah, it clearly does. Like, um, if you uptune the grayscale a whole bunch, you can see the search button turns all the way gray. However, as you lower it, it will turn back to a more blue color. Like. This is completely black, and then once you turn to zero, uh, you can see there's a little bit of a blue background, like, very, very black, very, very blue background, too. So, that's all I see. So, Wikipedia works for those two subjects right there, Sepia and Green Scale, and yeah, um, on the site list, you can add sites, obviously, so. For example, I got Google Maps, Wikipedia. Uh, by Gmail, which I'm not going to show you guys. That's, that'll be retarded. Why would I show you guys my email? Okay. Why do I want to do that? No. Uh, YouTube, Google, and obviously you can add a whole bunch more, right? Um, you could add sites like Roblox on there. Yeah, Roblox will definitely work with this, right? And since I like a more darker theme on YouTube, this is why I like Dark Reader a lot because I just like everything dark pretty much so anyway uh let's go to go ahead roblox.com real quick and then uh it's automatically added so now let's test it out let's go to roblox for a little bit um I'm not gonna be playing any games just for you because unfortunately dark reader does not work with games on roblox it'll make the background uh you know darker but you know 
as you guys can see, that's what it looks like now, okay? Except, I like it's totally black. And yeah, I see this blue background. What do you do? Oh yeah, you mess around with the... Uh, maybe you can mess with the grayscale for a little bit, except yeah. Yeah, no. There is a very good reason why the, um... Why the background's blue. So that you can actually see the buttons on all that. Trust me. If there was no such thing as that, there'd be bad luck. Right. So nothing really works with the grayscale and stuff you up. And I don't like it like this, you know. This is what happens when it's off. Well glare my eyes. Actually takes a little while. However, I had disabled um, Dark Reader, and that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like without Dark Reader. This is what it now looks like. Alright. I know, um, yeah, there we go. So. That's what Roblox looks like in Dark Reader. Okay, let's go to go find another website. Um, how about epicgames.com? You know, um, for those people who play Fortnite on PC, that's where you get the, um, Fortnite from, so do epicgames.com and then let's see here um yeah there we go that's how it works and there we go fortnite is all nice and you know, <laughs> um actually i think it might work a little better if we uh let's what let's see what happens if we turn it off turn off and it's all nice and bright okay turn dark reader on and it's blue yeah, like my favorite color blue. So people would clearly like it if if it's not so gray or dull, you know. Add a little blue to it, you know. Um, add a little more subtleness in here. So anyway, EpicGames.com absolutely works with this if you don't like gray. So the reason Dark Reader exists is because you can read stuff like um, it's completely dark, pretty much. And for those people who hate gray basically so anyway um yeah that's it um that's pretty much about it all right let's take a look at more before we do this and invert listed only that means these websites here will work not inverted list and yeah that means that's another word for it's gonna be off okay so there are two different ways to turn this off here and here invert listed only there we go not invert listed only. Um, yeah, there we go. So, so there's basically like two different ways for this. Like, pretty cool, right? It's like there are many, many ways to turn off something. Like, yeah, I do need to uh, do something with my hair. Maybe I'll do that next week. However, you can also select your font. So, for example, if you want, um. If you want modern, you could do that. If you want Mongolian, what was that, uh, Beatty, something like that? There you go, you can add that. Or Myanmar text, or Burma text. You can do that. You can add text stroke. Uh, you can add the text stroke increased up to a little bit to at least plus one. That's like the highest it can go. And uh, the lowest it can go is obviously 1. But I'm not going to show you too much about that. Um, so let's see here. Try on experimental theme engines. Filter plus preserves color saturation. Uses GPU static theme. Generates a simple, fast theme, dynamic theme, and lines. Colors and images. So if we have filter, this is what it looks like. Epigams.com looks like this. Okay. It will go all white, pretty much. All white. Filter plus. Um, if you take a look, that little thing. It's now turning a little bit yellow. Static? It looks like this. So, dynamic. It looks like the same. So, anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I'm going to talk to you guys about. And hopefully, you like the review of the Dark Raider. If you don't mind, check out the thing in the description if you want to get it. Alright? So, anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hopefully, you all like this video. If you don't mind, make sure that you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and finally, 
check out the social media. I'll provide my links down below. The four awesome websites. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys.